Oh my god, time for a new video. Well guys, I got something very interesting to talk to all you motherfuckers about today. And it is something that I had in the back of my skull, just eating away at the back of my skull, that I knew this might happen someday. And, well, okay. First off, I don't have any proof to show you guys. It's mainly just about what I heard from a friend. The mods had posts on the RuneScape forums that weren't hidden for a couple minutes or something. And somebody saw them talking about possibly selling RuneScape. Like I said before, guys, I myself haven't seen the actual um, threads. So I'm not really sure if it's true or not. But you know what? Even though I don't have any hard proof, it's still something really fucking good to talk about. So basically on the thread, the mods supposedly were talking about either Jagex selling RuneScape to either Microsoft or Blizzard. And yeah, I'll talk more about my opinion, whether I believe it or not towards the end. But I more or less want to talk right now about what would happen if RuneScape went in the hands of Microsoft or Blizzard. Well, first off, if RuneScape did go in the hands of Microsoft, we would be fucked! Our RuneScape characters would die! Can you you guys really see Microsoft controlling RuneScape? I think more or less Microsoft would take over RuneScape for probably about a year and then they would realize, wow, this is actually just too much work for us. Let's just move on and do something else. More or less, that's what Microsoft does and that's what I kind of like about Jagex. I dislike a lot of things about Jagex on how they're updating their shit on RuneScape, but Jagex stays consistent. They have updated RuneScape since, what, 2001 till like nine years now. Just about nine years, and then you count RS Classic. So well over nine years, they have been updating. Microsoft, yeah, what, what have they come out with? They came out with Xbox, uh, then they moved on to Xbox because they felt the first Xbox wasn't more efficient enough. Then they made 360, then they fucked up on 360, then they made 360 Elite. So I can see them basically saying, wow, we fucked up on RuneScape because we made everybody turn into penises. <laughs> yeah, we made everybody's characters turn into penises. So we basically fucked up RuneScape. RuneScape is closing now. Goodbye. Let alone, can you guys really see Bill Gates playing RuneScape? Can you really see him? I can picture Bill Gates playing RuneScape, and he would more or less be something like this. What the fuck is this game? I can't get RS Gold? How do I get more RS Gold? I have a hundred billion dollars, but I don't have RS Gold. How do I get RS Gold? What is going on? I don't understand this shit. Now, if Blizzard were to take over RuneScape, like if Jagex did sell RuneScape to Blizzard. Blizzard, as you guys remember, now I actually can like some of Blizzard's games. I mean, they came out with uh, Diablos, they came out with uh, Warcraft, Warcraft 3, uh, WoW, even though I don't play WoW, okay? But here's the thing, Blizzard would most likely adapt to RuneScape, but here's the problem, and this is something I actually been thinking about, and when I heard this from a friend, that they actually were thinking about selling it to Blizzard, it kind of got my brain clear clicking because if you guys think about it dungeoneering is like wow it's like raiding kind of right so therefore they're kind of like preparing us to be moved to Blizzard because Blizzard would more or less add, well, let's just say they would change everything around. On WoW, you can more or less get your character to, I think it's a level 80 now. I've, I've known people to get their characters maxed out in about three weeks of really nonstop playing. Nonstop playing in three weeks on RuneScape, it gets you not so far. So the first thing Blizzard would probably most likely do to RuneScape is more or less dissect and basically basically make it a lot easier for us to actually get 99s. They would probably most likely say, oh, you guys want a fire make? Oh, here's some new type of logs. They're called penis logs, made from Microsoft. And when you light them, they give you a mill experience. You just gotta like 13 of them, you know, and then you'll be done. I can see, wow, more of less adding things like, you, you know how everyone wants the old wild back. Well, what they would probably most likely do is say, oh, well, you know what? Let's just make every world a PvP world. Except when you die, you don't actually lose your shit. You just get teleported back to Lumbridge or something. Because in WoW, don't if you die somewhere, you'd get teleported back to like a graveyard or some shit. So imagine having the entire world being able to attack anywhere. Well, except banks and shit. But just imagine that shit, guys. Of course, you don't lose your items. But imagine the frustration. Somebody comes up to you and just starts whipping the shit out of you. Then you gotta go back to Lumbridge and then you gotta walk or teleport everywhere. In my conclusion, Blizzard would most likely make the game easier and they would most likely make our characters into penis lighting people.
or more or less logs or something like that. But once again, guys, like I said, I really haven't seen the actual thread. I wish I had actually seen the thread because then maybe they might have just been joking around or something. But like I said, if it was actually talked about selling RuneScape, I think it would be more or less talked about in offices. So I'm not really sure if this is true or not. But you know what? Maybe in about two, three years, we'll really find out if it's true or not. Because right now, Jagex is actually producing new games and stuff like that. But anyway, Anyways, guys, if you have anything for me, leave it in that your little comment. Also, please tell me if you have heard any rumors about this whatsoever. You have heard Jagex talking about this, you heard from people, other people. Let me know in a video response or a nasty your little comment. Also, thanks for subscribing, and I'll be posting new videos soon. See you guys later.